when it comes to fighting, combatants come in all shapes and sizes. And I'm liking the shapes and sizes on these two. Chun-Li, the strongest woman in the world. My Sharon Nui, the queen of fighters. He's Boomstick and I'm Wizard, and it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Chun-Li, first lady of the fighting game. Famous for abusing the thigh master. Chun-Li is a detective for Interpol and has gone through rudimentary police combat training. She is also trained with Gen, a friend of her father's and legend of the Chinese fighting underworld. But she never did finish her training with him. Does anyone ever finish their training? Seriously. Well, I guess it's not totally her fault. After Bison killed her dad, Gen just kind of disappeared on her. What a Since then, Chun-Li's been chasing after Bison for vengeance. She is trained in defensive Tai Chi and is skilled in a fast-paced kickboxing variant of Ken Po. She prefers speed over strength, using a combination of rapid strikes to pressure an opponent. And if you can't tell by looking at them, her legs are pretty powerful. She can even kick people through solid brick. Still, her strength doesn't just lie in those legs. She's strong enough to toss things around as big as a couch. Her main attacks include the unbelievably fast lightning legs, the unpredictable axe kick, and the physics-defying spinning bird kick. I wouldn't mind taking a ride on that helicopter. She can also focus her natural key energy to create the Kokokin, a slow, limited ranged attack. And the Kokosho is basically a super version of that, an enormous ball of energy strong enough to stop a speeding car. Her detective skills were instrumental in taking down the criminal organization Shadaloo, and after the tournaments, Chun-Li became a martial arts teacher. However, she has yet to win any major tournament and failed to kill Bison to avenge her father. She was able to rescue one of her students from Yurian, but turns out Yurian let her win, wanting only to test her skills. Also, it seems Chun ends up having to be rescued a lot, usually by Gao. Oddly enough, her most notable award is placing sixth in an international shooting competition, despite rarely carrying a gun. Well, I guess things wouldn't be too fair if she brought a gun to a street fight. Round one, bang! Winner! Despite this, Chun-Li is certainly capable of holding her own and has consistently proven to be one of the toughest contenders in the Street Fighter tournaments. You ready for this? Mai Shiranui is, well... Holy crap, look at those things! Mai is a ninja of the Shiranui clan and has been trained by both her grandfather and the perverted yet famously deadly Jubei Yamada. He brought a whole new meaning to... She has extensive training in the Shiranui Ryu fighting styles. From her grandfather, Mai learned the Koboken technique, specializing in pressure points and bone snapping. With Jubei, Mai trained in close combat judo. Mai's pretty fast, but focuses on single powerful strikes to punch through an enemy's defenses. The only downside to this is if she misses one, she's left wide open. <laughs> her flying squirrel Furiante and deadly ninja bee attacks help her control the field of battle. And she uses clever fake outs to trip up her foe. And she has an unlimited amount of steel fans she can throw, which I guess she keeps in her non existent bra. That's right. Really? I was just making a joke about her giant boobs. Speaking of her outfits, or lack thereof, while it's unrestrictive, it isn't exactly form fitting either. However, as a testament to her training and balance, it doesn't seem to bother her. She wears it for Kunoichi, a female ninja method of sensually distracting the foe before striking. No, I'm sorry, what? I was distracted. Never mind. Okay, Mai can create fire and explosions, and she can control whatever fire she's created. Mai consistently enters the King of Fighters tournaments to support her self-proclaimed fiancé, Andy Bogard. However, she has yet to win any major tournament, nor has she ever made a great impact in taking down the bosses. Or taking down Andy. She always does well, though, even joining Andy's award-winning team in 1999. Even so, she ends up having to be rescued a lot, usually by Andy. But for some reason, I don't seem to mind. My Shiranui of the Shiranui School must teach you a lesson. All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. It's time for a death battle! Fight!
Lynn Chun-Li may be a bit tougher and quicker than Mai, and her professional training even prepared her for the fake-out ruse. However, her arsenal pales in comparison to that of Mai's. With her pyrokinesis and steel fans, Mai had superior ranged and energy-based attacks. And while Chun's a beast in close quarters combat, her straightforward approach was a bad matchup against Mai's ninja training. It was certainly a close match, but Mai's nimbleness and firepower eventually won out. Chun-Li's never looked hotter. The winner is Mai Shiranui.